Hey guys, welcome to Code with Chuck. Today we're gonna take our Kraken AI monster and we're gonna make him flee when his health gets low. And we're also gonna create a little auto healing script so that over time he starts to heal himself and then will begin to chase us again. As an example, here we are, the monster is chasing us and I'm gonna begin damaging his health. Once it gets to a low number, he actually begins to run away from us and you can see his health bar is coming up. So again, in a few seconds, it should go higher. And then now he's back to his normal state where he will chase me if I get in his sight and do his attack like normal. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna open up our Kraken blueprint and down under check health, we're gonna create a new custom event and we're gonna call it Runaway. What we're gonna do is in our check health loop, we're gonna come off of this branch statement and we're gonna create another branch. So if his health isn't below zero, then we're going to go ahead and check if his health is below a threshold that we set. So we're going to take that health as less than or equal to, and we're going to create a new variable. And let's call this um, being health threshold. Okay, and then let's set that to a reasonable number, maybe 35. So now when the monster's health is below 35, then we're going to call the runaway function. Okay, perfect. We're gonna create a new variable called is fleeing. And in the runaway function, we'll set is fleeing to true. But if this statement is false, then we need to set is fleeing to false to end our runaway loop. So going down to the runaway loop, first thing we're gonna do is use a branch. And we're gonna check if it's currently fleeing, because if it is, then we're not gonna restart it. If it's not fleeing, then we want to set is fleeing to true and then begin our process. So what we're going to do is we need to determine a location where the monster is going to start to run to. We probably want it in the opposite direction of us. So the first thing we're going to do is get the actor location of our monster. And then we're gonna get the pawn that it's chasing, which is our character. And we're gonna get that actor location. Okay, and then what we wanna do is get the look at rotation. and connect these to our two actor locations. From there, we wanna get the forward vector to see which direction is forward for our monster. And then we want to multiply that by a negative number in order to reverse it because we actually wanna go the opposite direction. And we're gonna use a number as a distance too for how far away we want this point to be from the monster. So let's go with negative 500. At this point, we're going to take the location of the monster and we're going to add this to our point we found. And then we're going to break this vector and I'll show you why in just a second. 
All right, we're also going to take the monstrous location and break that vector. The reason we're doing this is we want to take the z value of the monstrous location, so no change in height. But we want to change the x and y based on these things. So we can make a new vector and use the z value from this and the x value from these. This will give us the result that we want. From here, we want to find point. Actually, we want get random reachable point in radius. And we want to feed it the location we just made. The radius is going to be a number that you set based on your game. However, I found 500 applicable for this. After that, we want to, on the execution path, use AI move to. Oops. Want to point towards that destination. Let's increase our acceptance radius to two hundred. And then if we succeed or fail, we want to set is fleeing to false. That way this loop may restart. So let's go ahead and comment all of this and call it run away. Okay, perfect. All right, so now what we need to do is put checks in our other functions to see if the monster is fleeing, so we don't override those. Same way we did the is attacking and is dead checks. So let's come up to the update pawn chase function. Do a branch statement, and from the false we'll continue. Let's get is fleeing. So if fleeing is false, then we'll continue. We're going to do the same thing up here with roam. All right, so one other thing we missed as well is on the AI move to we need to make a reference to self for the pawn just to say which pawn we're moving. So let's go ahead and run that and see what we get. So I'm going to go over and get our monster's attention so that he begins to attack me. And then I'll lower his health to a point where he should flee. So now he's chasing me. I'm lowering his health. And now that it went below the threshold, he began to run away. And as I move, he continues to try and find a point in the opposite direction of me where he can run away to. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is create a little script that's going to auto-regenerate the monster's health. So let's go up to our begin play. Let's make this a little bigger. We're going to create a timer by function name. With this, we can name a function that we create and cause it to loop every so often. So I'm going to check looping, and I'm going to set the time to 10 seconds. And I'm going to call the function regen health. And then we're going to go to the left here and hit the plus sign next to functions and create a function called regen health. In here, we're going to get our health and we're going to get our max health and we're going to say if health is less than max health then a branch if this is the case then we're going to regenerate some health so we're going to set health we're going to set it to health 
plus whatever our regen amount is going to be. So I'm going to create a variable here. And let's call this health regen rate. Okay. And then let's set the regen rate. Let's set it to 10. Okay, so looking back, we begin play, and this timer every 10 seconds is going to call the health regen loop. All right, let's go ahead and try this out and make sure it's what we're looking for. So again, I'm going to go over, get the monster's attention, and have him start chasing me. Okay, I'm going to lower his health until he begins to flee, and then... His health regenerated, so now he's coming after me again, and I'm going to lower his health a little lower this time just to test it a little differently. And he's fleeing, and it should take uh, maybe 20 seconds here for his health to regen to a level where he um, should be chasing me again. And there he goes. All right, guys. Well, thanks has been Kobe Chuck, and I hope to see you next time.